First of all, let's look at this wonderful book, beautifully written and with so many great insights into your life. But I'm interested in the title of this one, Honor and Sacrifice. Why is that the title? Uh, it's because uh, since young, I want to follow my father's food footsteps and even my uncle who represented Singapore in the 60s and the 70s. So uh, my dream is to play for the national team. It's always my dream. Yeah. I want to represent my country at the age of nine. I told my father I want to be a footballer. Mm. Yeah, in 1973 I was what, 10, 11 years old. Mm. I used to watch the sea games, uh, not the sea games, they call it before SIAP games, yep. Southeast yeah. Asia Peninsula Games. We were sitting behind the goal, behind the goal on the railing, then five, six of us. Because those days, uh, uh, SNOC, they, they sell the tickets throughout the schools. So we got a, <laughs> not a complimentary, is like a season pass, yeah. and it's so cheap, like $5, we can afford to buy. So every game we watch. So we were wondering how this place became a national team players. Mm. And this was where the dream started for you, yes, right? Yes, yes, then, But then again, I suppose the book very much, Roshan, and, and, and you, you're aware of this, having seen it, yeah. deals with things like that, right? Yeah, and, and I think one of the interesting things is uh, the fact that we've had Iksan on a couple of occasions mm, on this yeah. show, and he spoke to him recently, uh, and he brought up the three Ds and the one S, right? Yeah. And yes. obviously it's something that st <laughs> has stuck with yeah. him and, 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 his, and his brothers as well. Why don't you tell us about that? How important yeah. is that yeah. First of all, what does it mean? Uh, it means to me a lot because as a youngster, you want to play football because uh, advice from my father, you must have all the ingredients of a footballer like discipline, determination, dedication. You cannot only go training where your team is training, you have to do extra work. And also importantly, because without these three Ds, I don't think you can achieve your dream because it's all about your dedication towards. You train on your own, you train with a team, but extra training outside and then you're determined to make it because I, I'm a very determined person because yeah. when I was young, I like to play with bigger boys. I was nine, I played with 12, 13, and I'm not afraid, no fear. fear uh, I'm, no fear, those days, right. you know, the youngsters, no fear, we want to play a more challenge and yeah. we play barefooted mm. on the road, on the street. We used to have this kampong team and our kampong, sometimes we have this road on the grass on the left side, side but in the center is all like uh, stones and sand because of the cars. Whenever the cars drive through, we have to stop. We have our rules. Hey, <laughs> you don't move your position, okay? Once the car moves, then you start playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, 